Overnight tonight, not bad as we go down around through the mid 70s, heading toward 3 a.m. More clouds though as we go on toward dawn. 73 degrees to start your day tomorrow. OK, we'll start mostly cloudy and we'll still have a little haze out there, but winds are going to shift and well, some drier, fresher air is going to come on into the valley as the day wears on tomorrow. So get ready. A high of 89 tomorrow valley average. We hit 100 at Harlingen today, so 89 is welcome and you can see the clouds thinning out as well. It's all about the next weather maker. It's coming on down across the state. Now this isn't a you know super duper front, but what it is is the leading edge of cooler, drier air heading our way. And where it's bashing into a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, it's helping to fire up thunderstorms near Houston and on up into Louisiana and Arkansas. But this far south, it's going to be a wind shift, and that's all. And you can see the cooler air back behind in the 50s in the panhandle, still in the 80s in south and deep south Texas. And forecast for tomorrow with future cast shows the front coming on down. Again, the leading edge of cooler, drier air by 10 a.m. and then noon pushing on down through and holding temperatures in the 80s. And the clouds are going to just thin out and go away and will clear out and be mostly sunny by afternoon. Oh, it's going to be wonderful, except one thing. There's no rain. No. And that's, that's heartbreaking. We need some rain around here, and we need a lot of rain around here, but we're not going to see it with this event, so it might as well be comfortable. Sunday morning is going to be just gorgeous in the 60s and looking at clear skies and a northeast breeze turning east by afternoon and temperatures in the 80s, maybe 90 out west. So significantly cooler than we've seen the past couple of days to be certain. Humidity lower on Saturday, but watch Sunday. The bottom drops out and you can see we'll be much drier across the valley on Sunday. So Sunday is really the target day there. That northeast wind to blame. It's only 10 to 15 miles an hour and gusting around 20. So the strength isn't the issue, it's the dry air it's conveying on into the valley and it's deflecting some of that haze away from us as well. We'll still have some. It's not going to be the silver bullet to get rid of the haze. So we're still looking at a moderate diminished air quality here so that if you suffer from respiratory issues, make sure that you take it easy outside this weekend. The forecast for Sunday is fantastic. 87 degrees is a high, low humidity, lots of sun, east northeast wind 10 to 15. More good news, the long range forecast showing us that we are going to be in the above normal zone for rainfall for forecast rainfall for the month of May. Now this doesn't mean this is uh, an answer to all our prayers. What this means is the models are turning the forecast solutions are trending more toward a little bit more rain for us for the month of May. That would always be welcome. Even if this is a little bit more than normal, it would certainly be welcome. Above normal temperatures, eh, we can handle that. As long as we get some rain in here, who cares? All right, now take a look at the extended forecast. You know what? We have another opportunity for a shower there on Wednesday as well. Next week, with another frontal boundary coming through, it's weak, really weak, but at least eh, maybe a shower. Nonetheless, let's enjoy this weekend with drier, slightly cooler air. That's a look at your storm tracker forecast.